Hello, welcome all. Welcome in another important video. I hope you all are doing great. And in this video, we are learning about context isolation in electron JS. So let's see what is context isolation. So context isolation is enabled by electron from version 12. And the main reason behind introducing context isolation was the security. So with the help of context isolation, now we can write electron scripts in different contexts. We'll see more about this with an example in a moment. Context isolation also prevents a website from accessing electron internal APIs. So to understand this, let's take one example. Let's assume that we have one electron application which will have one main process. And let's also assume that our application will have two different renderer process. One of these process is accessing malicious website. So now if our internal APIs is exposed to the external world, so that means this malicious website can also access our electron APIs. Now this situation is certainly not good because now malicious website can write one malicious script and completely take over our electron application. So to avoid that, electron introduced context isolation. So with the help of context isolation feature, window object of one script is completely different for the window object of another script. So to understand this concept, let's take a look into one diagram. So as you can see on our left hand side, we have non isolated code and in our right hand side, we have isolated code. So now we have two different scripts. One is our preload script and another script which we will write inside of our index.html file. Now if the context isolation is disabled, that means the window object of preload script as well as index.html will be common. So now whatever the APIs that is accessible to preload script will also be accessible to index.html file. And that is certainly not good thing because as we already saw this example of malicious code, now this malicious website will also have access to this window object which is accessible to the preload scripts. On the other hand, if you look at the isolated code, you, you will get to see that the window object of preload script is completely different than the window object of index.html file. So it will also avoid the confusion or conflicts between two different scripts. So let's try to understand this with an example. So here we have our basic electron application and, and to understand context isolation, let's create one file with name preload.js. All right, so now we have preload.js file and let's create one object Let's create one custom object, let's say my API. And now we will put some message here. First message. All right. And let's go back in our main.js file. And if you see here, we have already written context isolation is equal to true. So now by default, context isolation will be true even if you don't write it explicitly because electron encourage the secured code and if we make it false so that means our electron api is, is exposed to the external world so which we certainly don't want but for now let's just keep it false and let's see what difference we will get to see with true and false so let's go back in index.html file and we have already written script tag in it now let's try to access this my api object from our index.html file. All right. All right. And one more thing we need to do is we need to import our preload script in our index.html file. So Electron just provides one more tag to load our preload scripts. So let's quickly do that. All right. So now let's quickly start our application. Okay. And now if I toggle developer tools, now if I see this, you will observe that the message that we have written inside the preload script is accessible inside the index.html file. So that means the window object of the preload script is same as the window object of the index.html file. All right. Now let's see what will happen if we make the context isolation as a true. So as we already learned, context isolation keeps separate window object for each script. So if we restart our application again, and now if I toggle the developer tools, my API is not accessible inside the index.html. That's what context isolation does. It creates a separate environment, a separate object 
for each script that we use right to reduce the conflicts between two scripts okay. so now let's learn how the context isolation will avoid conflicts between two scripts so let's copy this object and paste it above inside of it i will use the same object which we use inside the preload script but i will change this message so let's say this is nothing but the second message and now make context isolation false again to see the difference so as you can see here we have two consoles one is our first message another one is giving a second message so now what happened here is the object that we have written inside the preload script gets overridden by the index.html script so now this thing can happen anytime because the developers will never know that whether that object in, is in use or not and this can certainly break some apis if it gets override so now we know what is the problem and why electron introduce context isolation so now what is solution for this type of problems so electron introduced context isolation so we can import context bridge so let's import the context bridge from electron so now this context bridge object will have access to many objects and among this we are going to use exposed in a main world so now this feature will expose only certain type of apis which we want to export to the index.html but with different context expose in a main world function accepts two parameters first one is our api key so now we have to give any name for our api key so let's give it a name by context one we can give any name to this and the second thing it asks to to share your apis in our case we want to share our my api like this now we can use this as an object that's it that's all we need to do so in order to access this my api from preload script we need to take help of this name so now this preload script will append one object to the window object and so all the apis that we have written inside of exposed in the main world will be accessible under this object name so let's copy this object name and put it at the top as well as let's put this at the bottom all right so now let's save this and let's restart our application so here we received one error and it says that context bridge api can only be accessible if the context isolation is enabled so we need to go inside the main.js file and we need to change this false by true so as you can see we got three objects now and the first object says the first message another object says the second message and then again it says the first message now this is because we have different contexts and that is the reason why if we use the same object which we have used in preload.js that value will not get override by any other script because the context is different and inside the context isolation we can expose our functions as well so let's see this with one example so let's say if i want to print one message with one function so i will write one function and let's return let's return hello world now let's try to access this hello function let's restart it so as you can see we got the message hello world so with this way we can keep our application secured using context isolation in electron.js so i hope you have understood this concept completely so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye